Hey guys, Tina here with Tina's Inspired Art. Welcome to my channel again today. Really appreciate you all being here. We're going to have a lot of fun, so stay tuned for a real exciting botanical Dutch pour. All right, guys, I think we're about ready to get started. We're going to be working on a 12 by 24 inch canvas today. I'm going to flood it with my house interior white paint. This is the the brand is PPG, and I buy this at Home Depot. No water added to this, just straight out of the can. I'll flood my canvas, and then we'll come back and we'll talk through what our color palette is for today. All right, guys, we're back. I flooded my canvas. I covered my sides, and I think we're about ready to begin. I'm going to talk through my color palette with you guys today. We're going to start out with a Liquitex black, then a copper, a violet deep purple. This is a bronze. Um, the lime green and a Liquitex gold. That's my color palette for today. A little different, something I've never done before was this combination. It's quite different, but I think they go together. All right, I'm going to outline my design. With the black first. That's about what I'm looking at. Something similar to what I've done in the past. I'm just getting to where I kind of know what I'm looking for and I can make some variation as I go as well. So they don't, of course, they don't always look the same. You don't want it always to look the same, but I give it some variation. And of course, with the color changing, they look very different. So that's a nice copper. Yeah, I'll go in with this purple. Now with the bronze. Now with some of this lime green. And with the gold. All right, I'm gonna work my way down this way and then back up through the canvas. So let's get going.
Hey guys, I'm back and I think it's time to put our botanical signature style on this one and really make it come to life. To me, it definitely speaks um, very fallish. So yes, I think we definitely nailed the colors on it being very fall looking. All right, guys, this is what we look like right now before we begin. You can see those colors are striking with each other. Yeah. And there's a lot of cells going on. Lots of cell action. But this is what she looks like right now, kind of doesn't look like anything. It looks kind of like a blob. <laughs> but I think after I finish with it, it will look really pretty. So stay tuned to the end. We'll be able to see what this one looks like. All right, I got my paintbrush and I think I'm ready. Put my focal point about right here. I think she's looking good so far. These colors do look good together. They may not be my absolute favorite colors, but um, no doubt that they do look good together. I think when she dries, they'll look even that much prettier. It's just not, it might not be my favorite. <laughs> um, but we'll see at the very end. I will probably be adding, of course, something to this one. I 
I don't know what yet. I've been working on my Save the Bees series. And I've sold a couple, but I still have like four of them I've grouped together. And I made a video of that and released that one. So if you haven't no, sure. that one to see my Bees series, go ahead and check that out. It's pretty cool. Got them all grouped together and I think they look really pretty together. Might have to blow this top part of it a little bit. That area right there. I'm not quite happy with it. Yeah, I think once this dries, you'll see a lot of this shimmer in here and it'll really start taking some nice definition. I'm going to put you on fast forward through the remaining part of it and then I'll take you down for a nice close up of how this one looks.